to uh, today's ALA edition of um, Stacking the Shelves. Um, I went to ALA probably a week ago now, and um, I'm breaking it up just like I did with my BEA books. Um, today I have my summer releases. Um, so I really enjoyed ALA. It was a lot of fun. It was very different from BEA, but it was, it was really awesome. So keep an eye out for my uh, recap post coming soon, I hope. Um, and without further ado, um, I got Boy Nobody by Alan Zadoff, Overpowered by Mark H. Kruger, Deception by C.J. Redwine, Half Lives by Sarah Grant, Neptune's Tears by Susan Wagoner, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve I really don't want to butcher her last name. Uh, to to okay. Um, an adult book, A Question of Honor by Charles Todd. I reviewed one of the uh, other books in the Best Crawford Mysteries series earlier. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, historical fictions, especially taking place during uh, the time of World War II. Um, next up is Quarantine, The Saints by Lex Thomas. Broken by Elizabeth Pulford. And we've got Love in the Time of Global Warming by Francesca Leah Block. I actually almost didn't get this book because I thought I was online for it, and then I wasn't online for it. Turned out I was in line for the next book that was signing after her. So we were like, oops, and had to run ahead to get online for that. Uh, next up is Untold by Sarah Reese Brennan. Contaminated by M. Garner. Always a big fan of those crazy epidemic books, especially one caused by super trendy diet drinks. Exciting. Um, the Year of Shadows by Claire Legrand. I actually ran into Claire Legrand at BEA, um, and then I was kind of bummed because I was like, oh, now I have it, and can't get it signed. But excited, and there's some pretty pictures in there, so that'll be cool to check out. I also have... Her first book, um, The Cavendish School, um, on my shelves now. Um, another book that I have to get to. Um, of Beast and Beauty by Stacey J, which I'm so excited about. Um, who doesn't love a good retelling? Um, they changed the cover around, but it still looks really awesome. Uh, the Distance Between Us by Casey West, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Hannah read it and absolutely raved about it. Um, I really loved Pivot Point, so really excited for that. To Be Perfectly Honest by Sonia Sones. Um, it's a book that's told in verse, which I don't often do, so it should be interesting to break into that. I, and that's not the only one that I got that's told like that. Um, we've also got Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langton. I missed this at BEA, um, but I was able to snag a copy of this. And Brigadune, it's really cool. So another fairy tale retelling. Um, I've also got The Uprising by Lisa M. Strauss. The Butterfly Sister by Amy Gail Hansen. In Too Deep by Court Voorhees. Um, looks really awesome. Uh... Treasure Hunters, Teenage Treasure Hunters. Sounds like a good time. Then we've got Gated by Amy Christine Parker. Conjured by Sarah Beth Durst, who I also met at the EA while she was hanging out with um, Claire Legrand. And I was like, oh, here's Sarah Beth Durst. That's really awesome. She gave me a postcard for Conjured, and now I have a copy of it. So I'm very excited for that. We've got Replica by Jenna Black, which um, this is kind of a condensed version of my the view of my uh, new apartment, so that's really cool. I also thought that it was really awesome that they have a finished version of the Freedom Tower in the cover, um, since it is not yet done, but very awesome. Very excited for that. We've got Aquifer by Jonathan Friesen. And last but not least, Anomaly by Krista McGee. Uh, these are all books that are coming out um, between the months of June and August. And I will have another video coming soon with all the other books that are coming out. Thanks for watching. What did you get this week?